My name is Mina, and I'm going to talk about clickbait versus quality, how engagement-based optimization shapes the content landscape in online platforms. This is joint work with Nicola Morlica and Brendan Lucier. It's common to treat a content recommender system as an isolated system, which recommends content from a fixed content landscape. For example, one might think of YouTube's recommender system as choosing the video on the platform that maximizes an engagement metric. However, in reality, a content recommender system operates within a marketplace of content creators who strategically design their content to win recommendations. This means that creators might gain the engagement metric, which can shape the supply side landscape of content available on the platform. This challenges the assumption that the landscape of content is static. As a real world example, when YouTube used to optimize clicks, the platform became flooded with clickbaity videos. The main question that we study in this work is how gaming tricks by creators affect the supply side landscape and the downstream performance of the recommender system. We take a game theoretic perspective and study a game between content creators. Content creators compete for recommendations and the recommendation policy implicitly influences the creator payoffs. Creators can employ gaming tricks such as clickbait or actually invest in content quality. We solve for the equilibria in the game between creators, which captures the supply side landscape of content on the platform. Using the equilibria in this game, we analyze the downstream performance of a recommender system optimizing engagement. First, we examine the balance between gaming tricks and quality investment and show that gaming and quality are positively correlated. So content with higher quality generally exhibits a greater degree of gaming tricks. Then we turn to downstream performance in terms of content quality. We show that making the engagement metric costlier to gain counterintuitively reduces content quality. This suggests that improving recommender system transparency could interestingly help improve content quality. Finally, we turn to user welfare and compare optimizing engagement with the conservative baseline of randomly recommending content to users. We show that optimizing engagement can unfortunately lead to even lower user welfare than random recommendations. Altogether, we showed that the supply side landscape of content on a recommender system is shaped by the strategic decisions of content creators who react to the recommendation policy. We focused on engagement-based recommendations, which reward both gaming tricks and quality. Our high-level finding was that content creator incentives disrupt the supply side landscape and thus downstream performance along quality and welfare. More broadly, our work highlights the need to factor in the endogeneity of the content landscape when evaluating a recommender system policy. Thank you.